Hello Leo, this is Tanya from Sarva Yoga and I help you navigate your life. Today it's time for your December 2020 tarot reading, specifically for the first week of December from December 1st to December 6th. Thank you for already more than 1000 subscribers, I really appreciate every single one of you. As usual, we're going to go first into shuffling and you can see in the timestamps below at what time the shuffling ends and when the reading starts. Now let's not lose any time and go right into shuffling. Angels and spirit guides, please let me know what's in store for Leos for December 2020, the first week of December 2020, please. Thank you. Now that looks good. Four of Wands is a very positive card. Anything else? Leo, first week of December 2020, please. Please, Spirit, let me know what's in store for Leos for December 2020, the first week, please. The messages are highly appreciated here. Thank you. Page of Pentacles. New beginnings. Ace of Cups reversed. Anything else? Anything else, please, for Leos? First week of December 2020. Okay, it looks like this deck is done with answering. Now let's take the Angel Tarot. Now, please Angels, let me know why is the Ace of Cups in reverse here for Leos. Thank you. Okay, we've got Communicate Clearly. Anything else for Leos for the first week of December, please? Anything else? Okay. Then we are done shuffling and we will go right into your interpretation. So Leo, here is your interpretation for December 1st to 6th, 2020. You've got the Four of Wands, which is a very, very positive card. It's talking about celebration. So there could be celebrations with your friends and family, celebrations of weddings, of um, maybe somebody got engaged, maybe somebody got accepted at a university, maybe somebody graduated high school. <clears throat> this could be all kinds of different celebrations. It could also be you celebrating with your spirit family, you know, with your ancestors that have passed already. So you could feel this inner time uh, or this, this celebrational feeling. Like for example, even if you can't see the change on the outside yet, even though on the outside everything looks dim, inside yourself you already know that it's time to celebrate because which, that which is coming in the future is going to be so much brighter and so much better. So not all people will be able to see this. As you are a Leo sun, you know and you feel in your heart when good things are coming while other people can't even imagine that. But you can. So maybe this is you celebrating in advance before something really, really good happens, okay? And maybe it's you celebrating alone with yourself, just sitting there smiling and being all happy because you know something good is coming. And we've got another hint here. Uh, we've got the Page of Pentacles. And the Page of Pentacles is always, always a sign of good news coming in. So that's another confirmation that obviously something good is gonna come into our lives, at least for some of you Leos out there. So this can talk about new beginnings and new connections. Maybe you do networking, even if it's just an online congress and you meet some new people there and you uh, just add each other on LinkedIn and you're going to be, you know, maybe exchanging some very useful and practical information which is helping you. So there is definitely something positive coming in. It's, it's about connecting to new people or making new friendships with, with people that are actually coming in for your highest good. This is about manifesting new opportunities, maybe even new career paths. Maybe you're learning a new skill, learning something entirely different. Maybe you're just changing professions. Yeah, it could mean all kinds of new beginnings. Then you have the Ten of Wands in reverse. Ten of Wands reversed is a card that can talk about you having to let go of other people's expectations. So maybe other people expect you to do A, B and C, but you are only ready to do A. 
and not B and C because you think that is not your responsibility. So it's time to stand up for yourself and communicate very clearly that you are not going to do B and C. Yeah, because you were never asked. You were never, you know, nobody came up to you and saying, hey, uh, we know that you do A, but please, could you also do B and C? Nobody ever asked you that. Yeah. So it's time to just say, no, this is not my responsibility. Um, I'm, I'm saying thank you, but no thank you, really politely. Um, and giving that a burden to someone else because you can't do it all. On the other hand, it could signify that you are not letting go of this burden because you want to feel needed. So maybe you go like, mm, okay, actually B and C is not really my job, but yeah, I'm going to do it because I want people to like me and I want everybody to be happy. And of course, me as a Leo, I'm carrying more than others, so I will do it. But that's not the right thing to do, okay? Because you're betraying your inner self. You're betraying, well, you're also you. You're betraying yourself, yeah? So it's better not to be a people pleaser here and just communicate clearly that this is not what you want to do. And we've got another confirmation card here because the angel said communicate clearly. Now I'm going to read from the booklet was it what it says about communicate clearly. This situation requires very precise and careful communication. Don't assume that others involved understand what you want or need. In-person discussions are preferable, but if that's not possible, make sure that your communication method is very thorough. This card can indicate that there has been a miscommunication that is creating a challenge in the parties involved. By clearing up any misunderstandings, you can heal the situation so that everyone can start moving forward again. So communicate clearly, speak your heart, speak your mind, but do so in a very polite and respectful way because otherwise your point is not going to be uh, transferred to the other person. And then we have last but not least the ace of cups reversed with ace of cups reversed you can see somebody's protecting his little heart chakra here um, so when it's reversed it can mean that you might be ready again to open up for love yeah some of you leos not all of you but some of you might be at a place where you have healed perfectly and you can finally let go and just start letting somebody else in again yeah this is also talking about clear communication because it says you have to in order to protect your heart you have to communicate clearly you have to say listen this is what i need right now and the reason why i need it is that and that and that yeah so <clears throat> communication uh, clear communication is also very important when it's about protecting your heart and keeping up healthy boundaries this card is also speaking about healthy boundaries okay so we've got here you need to speak up for yourself you need to have a clear communication to set healthy boundaries and then you have two very very positive cards for the first week of december a big celebration at least if it's not there yet it's coming and some new contacts and some new skills new learning that's really really beautiful so i think that is a good reading for the first week of december so Leo, I hope you liked the reading. If you did, please let me know in the comments below how it resonated for you. Thank you again for being here. Thank you for subscribing. And I hope to see you next time. I love you guys. Bye bye.